Air Force will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Shoved out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That brings up second and one. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. From the 40-yard line, first down. He steps out at the 38. That's good here, man. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires up to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 31. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Here's the eighth play of the series. get to the first down marker. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Brought down at the 21-yard line. This is the 10th play of the drive. He's tackled at the 11. From the 11-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. All day. All day. Looks for a receiver. Touchdown. that play ever developed nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. It was a 12th play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. 
Air Force is a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Tackle at the 28. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Two times, two times. Pull down, pull down. Like 13, like 13. He's coming, he's coming. Ready. Check, check. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Six on the draw play. And here's another third down. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Mike 13. Mike 13. Let's go. Green 95. He's under pressure. Tackle made at the 29. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go! That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Boise State leads it 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Four yards away here on third down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. the distance and he got it the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off excellent kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boise State is up by four. They 
go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 39. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Flyers across the middle. Pick up a five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Third and six. Ball on the 44. receiver and he can't make the grab and that'll bring up a punting situation on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary booming kick talk about a booming punt my goodness again it's about stressing special teams that is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. They line up at the 10. It's second down. To him before he could get back to the line. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Boise State is up four. Complete. He's got room. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That good a play fake is a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Here we go, D. Mike six. Mike six. Cut. Reach out. 225. He goes out of bounds around the 27 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Gets it that quickly, and he's taken down right around 
the 20. Yeah, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 20. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Boise State holds a four-point lead. Brought down at the one. It's first down. They'll be looking for six points here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players. We always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When the running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From their own 27-yard line, Second down. Green 88. Green 88. Check, check. 200 check. 200 high. Gets to about the 27 yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Broncos in front by 11. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The expectation coming into this game is that both offenses would do what they've pretty much done in the past. Come up with these big plays, explosive chunk plays, the defense has done a great job being able to take them away. No, absolutely, and that's that's goal number one. And especially when you face an explosive offense, you know what they can do. And especially offenses like this, like you're talking about, when they hit the home run. You know, next thing you know, you look up, the guy's hit his head on the goalpost, and he just went 70 plus yards. And you really want to try to limit the damage. And that's what you've done in the first half. You've made good tackles. Sometimes you got to make a difficult open field tackle on a wide receiver that is fast, that knows how to get to the end zone, but. You know, they've done enough of that in the first half to limit the damage and not give up too many big plays. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boise State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike 13, Mike 13. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 13, Mike 13. He's got a 
It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 47. Tackle for a loss. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. Decided to go for it here. Defense stacked in tight here. Here he goes. He's at the 30. And they tackle him at the 20. He carried that one for a huge game. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets out to around the six. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. four-yard line. Two-yard carry by the fullback. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. From the four-yard line, second down. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Mike 13, Mike 13. He's coming, he's coming. Let's go. Here we go. Somebody Red, jumped early down there. Red, 68. False start, False start. Offense. offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, Still too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. It's that quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Air Force to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Boise State up by eight. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. They'll bring him down at the 34. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tight end right. 
tackle right around the 42 yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. Number 34, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. They'll make the sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Boise State is up by eight. He really got a hold of that one. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Come on, that was terrible. What is that? It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that'll be three and out. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Boise State leads it 14-6. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Boise State holds an eight-point advantage. Got a man, watch out here. And he's immediately tackled. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. And down he goes, around the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throws a 
strike over the middle. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Go. Go. Slings it to his fullback, and he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. From the six-yard line, second down, Boise State up by eight. for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Zips it to the back, and he's hit immediately. That brings him second and five. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Let's go. That makes it first and ten. ten. Set, green 95. Green 95. <laughs> Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. That'll, That'll make, make it second, it second, second and four. four. Ready. Ready. And a quick throw. He'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Ready, wide 80. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Looks to the back and can't connect. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. 
And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 17-9, Boise State. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. Just over a minute left. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry from the 41-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. The Falcons use their second timeout. Air Force is out of timeout. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The kick is up. And he splits the uprights. one great kick and they can forget about returning this one well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time well now you got to be thinking end zone on every play you just don't have the time to do anything else I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle but I seriously doubt we're gonna see one today Fires out, brought down at the 33 very solid gain through the air I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Mike 13, Mike 13. He's coming, he's coming. Check him. Here we go. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. Not enough strength on that pass, and it hits the turf. Oh, boy, he wishes he had that play to do over. Could have been big yardage there. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. He fights forward to about the 36. Pound for pound, this is a very solid offensive line. They know that if they do their job, they'll make enough room for short conversion. Under a minute left. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. He's coming, he's coming. Ready! Green 88! Here comes the pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When a film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on one of And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 35. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 20 to 9, Boise State. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.